Do you know the cinnamon you bought in the grocery store might not be the real cinnamon? And what is cinnamon anyway? Well, you might think cinnamon is cinnamon, the things you put in cinnamon rolls and apple pie, right? As it turns out, it's not that straightforward. So today we will dive deeper into the question of what cinnamon actually is with the AA. Query. Today's query is Saigon cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon, and regular cinnamon. What are the differences? We will start by exploring what is cinnamon, what are the differences between different varieties, and are the differences actually matter? So let's start with our first question, what is cinnamon? As it turns out, cinnamon is actually not one species. Cinnamon refers to several plant species and the commercial spice product they produce, all of which are part of the cinnamon genus in the Lorenzi family. Only a handful of cinnamon species are cultivated for their spices. One of the most commercially available cinnamons is Cinnamon ferens or C. zelenicum, which is known as Ceylon cinnamon due to its origin in Sri Lanka, formerly called Ceylon, and is considered true cinnamon. However, the status of Ceylon cinnamon as the only true cinnamon is subject to ongoing debate and discussion. In addition to Ceylon cinnamon, the majority of cinnamon traded globally comes from three other species, often called Cassia. This kind of cinnamon includes one cinnamon burmani, aka Indonesian cinnamon or pedant cassia, two cinnamon cassia, aka Chinese cinnamon or Chinese cassia, three cinnamon floriroid, aka Saigon cinnamon or Vietnamese cassia. According to an article titled Cinnamon Market Size and Share Analysis, Growth Trend and Forecast, published by MortarIntelligent.com, which is a market research and consulting firm providing insight and analysis on various industries and market worldwide. In 2018, Indonesian and China were responsible for 70% of the world's cinnamon production, with Indonesian contributing nearly 40% and China 30%. In the grocery store, specialty store, and online, cinnamon usually label as one of the following. Sedan cinnamon, cinnamon aka regular cinnamon, and salon cinnamon. But what are the differences between them and how do you know which is which? So what is the difference between Saigon Cinnamon, Regular Cinnamon, and Salon Cinnamon? This question can be answered by two articles. One article titled The Difference Between Saigon Cinnamon and Regular Cinnamon, published by Lifestrong.com, which is a health and wellness website that provides information and advice. And another article titled Why is Saigon Cinnamon Stronger Than Salon Cinnamon? was published by SlowFoodGroup.com, which is an online retailer of artisanal spices, herbs, and gourmet ingredients. According to these two sources, the differences between Saigon cinnamon, regular cinnamon, and salon cinnamon lies in their origin, flavor, and chemical composition. Within them, the only true cinnamon variety is salon cinnamon, sources from cinnamon ferron tree. It is made from inner bark of the tree, which naturally rolls into stick or quills as it dries. Sri Lanka remains the principal supplier of true cinnamon bark and its leaf oils. It is considered the original and authentic form of cinnamon, with a distinctive flavor and aroma that sets it apart from other varieties. However, the notion of being the only true cinnamon is subjective and open to debate as different cinnamon species and cultivars can also offer unique quality and benefit. So in this case, the term true itself is subjective. For now, you only need to know when people are referring to the term true cinnamon, they are usually referring to cinnamon ferron, aka salon cinnamon. Cassia cinnamon, on the other hand, while are not quote-unquote true cinnamon, are the type you will find in most grocery stores and are considered to be more affordable. One exception is Saigon cinnamon, which is a type of cassia cinnamon, but it is regarded as a premium variant and is typically found in specialty store or online. Other cinnamons that are simply labeled as cinnamon are usually Chinese cinnamon, aka cinnamon cassia, or Indonesian cinnamon, aka cinnamon bermany, which are two commercially available cinnamon that are considered to be more affordable. Saigon cinnamon, regular cinnamon, and Ceylon cinnamon have distinct flavor due to their origin in different tree species. These trees contain varying amounts of compound called simonaldehyde, which is responsible for cinnamon's flavor, aroma, and color. The highest concentration of this compound are found in Vietnamese varieties, such as Saigon cinnamon, aka Cinnamon loriroid. Consequently, Saigon cinnamon has a much stronger, spicier, and more intense flavor compared 
to regular cinnamon, while Ceylon cinnamon is considered delicate. To summarize, Ceylon cinnamon, aka Cinnamon Sloriroid, also known as Vietnamese cinnamon, has the strongest flavor among all cinnamon varieties due to its high cinnamon high content. Regular cinnamon usually referred to cassia cinnamon, which includes Chinese cinnamon, Cinnamomus cassia, and Indonesian cinnamon, Cinnamomus bermani. Cassia cinnamon variety are more widely available and are considered to be more affordable than true cinnamon and Sagan cinnamon. Salon cinnamon, Cinnamomus furum, is considered true cinnamon and is origin from Sri Lanka. It has a more complex and delicate flavor compared to other varieties, and it's particularly valued in English and Mexican desserts. So how do we tell Saigon cinnamon, regular cinnamon, and salon cinnamon apart? Well, you can tell them apart by just reading the label. If you do not trust the label, you can tell them apart using various methods. For example, I started publishing the Journal of Agriculture and Food Chemistry in March 2014 highlights that cinnamon that we commonly use comprise four primary cinnamon species and demonstrate a simple, fast, and reliable analytical method that can be used to differentiate four different species of cinnamon. In this study, the researchers obtained 53 cinnamon samples from McCormick and Co. Incorporated, which is an American food company that manufactures, market, and distributes spices. And then they put this sample into a special machine called a mass spectrometer, which analyzes them and create a unique footprint for each cinnamon species. These footprints are like graphs that show the amount of different parts in each cinnamon sample. By looking at and comparing this fingerprint, a scientist could see special patterns that were specific to each type of cinnamon. This way, they could tell the four main cinnamon species apart from each other accurately. So what are the benefits and risks of Sagan cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon, and regular cinnamon? According to a Healthline's article, cinnamon has been studied for its potential health benefit, including managing blood sugar level, promoting circulation, and providing beneficial antioxidant. Some research suggests that cinnamon may help regulate blood sugar level, particularly in people with type 2 diabetes. Additionally, cinnamon has been found to possess anti-inflammatory properties and may contribute to improved blood circulation. However, more research is needed to fully understand the extent of this benefit, and individual response may vary. It is important to consult a healthcare professional before using cinnamon as a supplement or making significant dietary change. In addition, too much cinnamon may cause health problems due to the present of boomerang, a toxic compound found naturally in several plants, including cinnamon trees. Boomerang gives cinnamon its aroma, but excessive amount can lead to liver damage. So, how how much cinnamon is safe to eat? According to the European Food Safety Authority, a tolerable daily intake of fumarine is 0.05 mg per pound, 0.1 mg per kilogram of body weight. For Saigon cinnamon, this equates to about 1 teaspoon. 2.5 grams daily. Consuming cinnamon within this limit is considered safe. It is important to be cautious with intake due to the potential risk associated with high coumarin levels. The coumarin levels differ significantly between Saigon cinnamon, regular cinnamon, and Ceylon cinnamon. A study published in the National Library of Medicine titled Cassia Cinnamon as a Source of Coumarin in Cinnamon Flavored Food and Food Supplements in the United States found that only trace amount of coumarin in Ceylon cinnamon, while cassia bark contains substantial level. Therefore, Ceylon cinnamon is considered to be a safer variety. Finally, I want to spend a little bit more time talking about the lesser known Saigon cinnamon. So, what is Saigon cinnamon? The question is answered by Wikipedia Saigon cinnamon entry, and another article titled What is Vietnamese Saigon cinnamon? published by whiteonricecouple.com. Whiteonricecouple.com is a food recipe and lifestyle blog run by Todd Porter and Diane Ku, a photographer and food stylist duo featuring diverse recipes, gardening tips, and travel stories. According to these two articles, Vietnamese Saigon cinnamon, scientifically known as Cinnamomus loriroi, a type of cassia tree native to the mountain region of central and northern Vietnam. Among cinnamon varieties, Vietnamese cinnamon is considered to be the most aromatic due to its high concentration of essential oil, which accounts for its intense sweet and spicy flavor. Harvesting process for Vietnamese cinnamon it typically takes place during the summer months, when the oil content is at its peak. Once harvested, the bark is stripped 
and allowed to dry, which caused it to curl into long curled strips measuring about 12 inch to 16 inch in length. These stripes are the most authentic form of Vietnamese cinema and are highly sought after by culinary experts. Vietnamese Saigon cinema is often used in small quantity to enhance the flavor of various dishes, ranging from baked good to stew to soup stocks. Its rich, sweet, and robustly spicy taste is often likened to red hot candy, setting it apart from other cinnamon variety that may be more subtle sweet or even lake sweetness altogether. Due to the high demand for this spice, it's not uncommon for merchants to mix in or add other inferior cinnamon variety to Vietnamese cinnamon. It is important to taste the cinnamon before purchasing to ensure you are getting the authentic product. The real deal should have an intense sweet and spicy flavor, reminiscent of red hot candy. Vietnamese cinnamon is available in various forms, including whole bark, sheets, broken bark pieces and powder. Each form has its own use in culinary application, but it's essential to be cautious when using Vietnamese cinnamon due to its potency. When cooking with it, start with a small amount and adjust according to taste, as its high essential oil content can easily overpower a dish with cinnamon flavors. Saigon cinnamon, although a popular marketing term, is somewhat misleading as it is not produced around Ho Chi Minh City, formerly known as Saigon. Instead, it is cultivated in the central highland of Vietnam, particularly in the Huanan province. So can you use Saigon cinnamon for baking? This question can be answered by an article titled What You Should Know Before Using Saigon Cinnamon, published by Meshed.com, which is a website that provides food-related content, including recipe cooking tips, kitchen hacks, and insight into popular food brand and trends. So according to this article, yes, you can use Saigon cinnamon for baking. Although it has a more intense and papery flavor compared to Salon cinnamon, it can still add a unique earthy and spicy sweetness to your baked good. Saigon cinnamon's strong flavor comes from a higher concentration of cinnamaldehyde in its essential oil. However, be mindful of its higher cumarin content, which can be toxic if consumed in large amount. Here are some cooking tips and advice for using Saigon cinnamon in baking. 1. Start with a small amount. Since Saigon cinnamon has a stronger flavor than Salon cinnamon and regular cinnamon, begin by using a smaller quantity than you would with Salon cinnamon and regular cinnamon. You can always add more if needed, but it's difficult to reverse the intensity once added. 2. Taste and adjust. As you are preparing your recipe, taste your batter or dough and adjust the cinnamon quantity as needed. This will help you achieve the desired flavor without overwhelming the other ingredients in your dish. 3. Pair with complementary flavor. Second cinnamon pairs well with flavors such as apple, pear, chocolate, nut, and warm spices like nutmeg, cloves, and all spices. Experiment with these combinations to create unique and delicious treats. 4. Be mindful of coumarin content. Remember that Saigon cinnamon has a higher coumarin content, which can be toxic in large amounts. Limit your daily consumption to no more than 1 teaspoon per day. 5. Use in both sweet and savory dishes. While Saigon cinnamon is a popular addition to sweet like cookie, pies, and cakes, it can also be used in savory dishes. Try using it in marinade, rubs, or as a spice in curry's recipe for a surprising twist. 6. Store properly. To maintain the freshness and potency of Saigon cinnamon, store it in an airtight container away from heat, light, and moisture. It will help preserve its flavor and extend its shelf life. Following these tips, you can make the most of Saigon cinnamon unique flavor profile, enhancing the taste of your baked good while also enjoying its potential health benefit. But wait, do different cinnamon actually taste different when using baking? How much is the difference? So, do different cinnamon actually taste different when using baking? According to an article titled, True Cinnamon is Pricey, but is there any honest difference? Published on Chicago Tribune. Yes, different types of cinnamon can taste different, with some subtlety in their flavors. However, the differences are usually subtle and may not be uh, discernible, especially when using baking or cooking. The two most common types of cinnamon are salon cinnamon, often referred to true cinnamon, and 
Circassian cinnamon. While some people may argue that Salon cinnamon has more sophisticated, subtle flavor, blind tasting have suggested that most people cannot tell the differences. The main flavor component in cinnamon comes from a group of essential oil, which can vary slightly between different spices of the cinnamon genus. However, as mentioned, these differences are typically so minor that they won't significantly impact the flavor of your baked good. During a taste test conducted by Washington Post Food, different cinnamon types were tested, including dollar store cinnamon and more expensive variants. The results were inconclusive, with both cheap and pricier cinnamons have fans and detractors. The overall flavoring was a supermarket standard, suggesting that price and supposed quality do not always correlate with preference. In the end, most tasters found that the cinnamon tasted different when tasted in simple syrup. The differences were harder to discern when the cinnamon was used in cinnamon toast. This suggests that the differences in flavor between different types of cinnamon become even less noticeable when using baking or cooking. As such, it's often more practical to choose your cinnamon based on price rather than subtlety of flavors, unless you are using it in a context where its distinct flavor will be highlighted. If you made it to the end of the video, chances are that you enjoy learning what people also ask on Google. But let's face it, reading PAA yourself will be a pain. So here's the deal, I will do the reading for you and upload a video compiling some fun PAA once a week. All you have to do is to hit the subscribe button and the, and the bell icon. So you won't miss any PAA reports that I compile. So just do it right now. Bye!